We have seen in the previous videos how to get the channels and add channels on our API and, and localhost and get them into the view page. Now we need to display the data, the YouTube videos and uh, from from uh, and it's, uh, from the YouTube and display them into the uh, correct channel. I have edited the uh, activity underscore YouTube and I need to make here the set title to YouTube videos. Now I will run the application and see the difference. So our mission is uh, to make uh, to get data, the real data, the real YouTube uh, from uh, data from uh, the uh, from the API and display them into the view pager here and into the recycler view. Now inside the fragment YouTube here, I will change it to relative layout and I will make it pretty pretty here and I will create a new swipe to refresh layout with match parent and wrap content for width and height respectively and ID is swipe so we are going to design the layout and make some uh, amendment for codes creating some codes in this video and next video we are going to display the data and the YouTube videos inside uh, 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 specific uh, channels okay now I need the progress bar here the wrap content wrap content for the width and height and the center horizontal and the line parent true okay now let's go up and let's go to the fragments here fragment youtube and inside of this fragment youtube i will create a recycler view i will initialize it swipe refresh layout we are declaring them and we will go to and initialize them here now the on create view recycler view equal view dot find view by id i need to get the set the visibility of the progress bar to gone first of all and then continue making this find the view by id r dot id dot video record rec swipe refresh layout view dot find the view by id and we get the swipe and the progress bar for you dot find the view by id equal progress bar we are initializing them correctly okay now let's go to the fragment you do continuum with the fragment i need to make a linear layout manager instance new linear layout and i need to pass the context i will create a general general context variable and recycle view dot set layout manager linear man layout manager load data from youtube server this is the method that it is going to execute and fetch the data from the youtube okay so this will load data from youtube server to our application not from our local host okay I will create an instance from the API interface. It's called API interface. And API client dot get API client dot create, which is the API interface dot class. Now I will create a map of string string having the key as a string and a value of string. And we create an instance from this uh, interface 
and we cre create a new hash map. We put the page and the posts and we are going to make some uh, some amendments and changes for this code okay as we see in the api we need to include the snippet we need to include the channel id we need to uh, to uh, specify how many uh, the page tokens how many pages how many uh, activities you need to parse and everything we are going to clarify in this video uh, so connecting to our uh, cloud cloud uh, console and check the documentation on uh, youtube api 3 for more details and uh, or the or the, sorry download our application master coding and these are lectured in details so master coding from play store this link will allow us to fetch the data from our youtube okay so https google apis slash youtube slash v3 slash activities so we are fetching the activities of the channels uh remember uh, maybe that remember that every channel has its own activities like the uh, posts the pages the the videos they uh, browse the videos and the channels they browse the videos they publish so all of these are endowed under the activities uh, uh, tab or categories okay so first of all i need to specify the part which is the snippet and the second thing I need to specify is the channel ID. So I will specify string CID, which is the channel ID, and equal to get arguments dot get string, and I will get the CID from the previously created uh, uh, classes in the YouTube uh, activity. So we are getting the bundle. Inside the bundle, we have the CID, channel ID, and we are passing this channel ID to the uh, to the uh, channel ID uh, inside the parents. The key value, pers, which is part, channel ID, max results, page token, and we uh, will make another uh, thing on our parameter. put string and which is the um, very important specifying the key so get string we have this the api key stored inside the string um string folder okay now i need to change the call to yt model and make a new callback inside the in queue and we have two methods that we have seen um, before the on response and on failure i will start with the on failure and the next video we will um, continue with ma making on the response method so in the re on response we are going to get the data uh, from youtube display videos display the activities of every channel that we have get inside the view pager so 